Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm starting kind of a big project. It's really could be a small project, but I'm starting the bisque trousers. I'm actually making six different pairs or I mean there's like three versions of the pants. There's the pant version with a kind of tapered in leg, a pant version with a wide leg, and then a short version, and I'm making two of each. I'm going to show you all the fabric for all of them. I have already cut all of them out. The only thing I have to cut is the pocket lining for the ones where the fabric's really thick, and so I have to cut a lining to go inside it so I don't have to use the thick fabric. Or I have some, I just didn't have enough fabric to do the lining, uh, just the like the cover, like the thing that attaches so it looks like the pocket. Anyways, I just need to cut linings. Um, I will show you the fabric I chose for those two. But yeah, at the end of this, I will have six pairs of pants slash shorts. Um, I'm doing two of each version. So two wide leg, two tapered in leg, two shorts. In this video, you'll probably only see me make a pair of shorts and a pair of pants because I am gonna do them all together, but I have those two pairs that you'll see in this video are gonna be done with white thread and I already have white thread on my machine. I just have to change the needle and the, the presser foot um, because I finished a quilt last night. But all the other pairs, um, I'm gonna use black thread so, and I still have to like make a bobbin for that. So I'm not going to interchange in between, you know, the threads. So I'm gonna do the two white pairs, which is a pair of shorts and a pair of pants, the tapered in pants. And those are the two you're gonna see in this video and then I will later on switch out the thread and finish the other four. But the actual making part of this video is just going to be the two pair and yeah i'll show you show you all the fabrics real quick and i'll tell you i know which ones are which style and then we'll get start sewing so let's go we're gonna make a lot of pants today <laughs> so these are the uh two things i have left to cut out it's the just the lining that goes on but these are the fabrics for the two pairs that I'm going to work on today. Um, I have this like very lightweight neutral colored, I think it's a denim, um, but I only had, I got this on sale from an online store, like their remnant sale. And so I only had a yard of it. So I'm making the shorts out of them, um, but I didn't have enough to cut one of these also. So I'm just going to use some, some white muslin to cut the pockets out of. And then this, not the red part, but the this scrap fabric I have with these blue stripes is going to be the lining, the lining for these pants. And these are gonna be the narrow version of the pants, or like the narrow tapered in version. So this is version A, and that's version C are the shorts. But this is like leftover scrap fabric. I got this from Joann's in their like clearance section. I got like five yards for the price of one. So, and I've already made a coat out of this fabric. It's like a I don't know a wool flannel. It's kind of fuzzy. It's very soft But I had I made a coat out of it already and then I had extra so I may I'm going to make the pants and since it is a little Thicker I am gonna use a pocket lining, but I'm just going to use that stripe one I have the white for the white shorts and those are the two you're gonna see me work on because I'm using white thread for both of these but the other four are the ones over here um, and so these are the other pair of shorts. I had enough fabric to cut out the pocket lining fully for this one. And this is just like a lightweight black, I don't know what kind of fabric, it's not silky, but I don't know, like a lightweight twill or something. So I have another pair of shorts in these, and this is all the fabrics. So I don't need to cut a lining for this one. But then I have my other version B, which is this houndstooth kind of suiting fabric. It's a little thicker. Um, it's very, very, very slightly see-through. You maybe see it. Um, I'm not too worried about it, but it, it, since it was a little bit of thicker fabric, I'm going to cut the lining out of this quilting cotton that's just white and with black that I have. Um, I thought it'd look kind of cute with that and it doesn't, it doesn't show through, you know, this or, you know, matches same colors because I had a color one. I had like a red colored one and you could slightly see the red through here. So it's best to stick with neutrals. These are my two shorts. They're just black and white. This is a denim and a twill. Um, and then version B, I have this blue, tealish and white plaid along with my houndstooth ones. And then so for version A, or no, this is version A. These are A. The This is also the narrow or, you know, tapered in hem or pant leg. So this one, 
the houndstooth and this one are going to be tapered in and so the wide leg version is going to be these two fabrics first i had this like pleather it's a black pleather it has like suede on the inside so it's going to be nice and soft and warm but this is going to be my first wide leg version of course this is a thicker fabric so i found some scrap from my wrap skirt that I made. I actually made a video on it. I will link it, but this is the scraps. So I figured I can make the pockets out of this. I think that'd be really fun to have like pleather pants and then leopard cheetah print pockets. So very fun. And then the last pair is this green. It's like a suiting fabric. It's a solid suiting fabric. Oh, and I actually did cut the whole pocket out of this one. So I don't need a pocket lining for this one so yeah these are the two i don't need to cut pocket linings for i felt this was i guess thin enough to but this is you know the pocket it will eventually go like that um so this is the pocket for the ones that the fabric's too thick or didn't have enough this is what you attach to the pocket lining so when i say i need a pocket lining you're only gonna you're gonna see this part on the outside of the like diagonal pockets and then on the inside will be the fabric so i was before when i last night was going through fabric i was gonna make this the pocket line is just some pink feathers but i guess i don't actually need that so yeah the this one the green and the black pleather are gonna be the wide leg versions. And then these two are the narrow leg versions. And then I have my black and white shorts. And that's all of the pants I'm gonna make today. Again, this one, this one, this one, and the houndstooth one I'm gonna do in black thread. So I'm gonna do those later. So yeah, I'm gonna start by cutting all the linings and then we can start sewing the pants together with the ones that I'm gonna use white thread on. I have made pants before, but these are the first ones I made with like actual pockets. These are like nicer pants. Um, they still do have elastic waistband, so that's nice. I don't have to like do a zipper or anything, but they have like pleats in them. The pattern even says like, depending on the fabric you choose, they can be really relaxed, like casual pants. Like if I use a linen or something, or they can be really nice dressed up pants with the fabrics I'm kind of using. So I can't wait to see how they all turn out and how they're all similar, but different, you know? And again, I'm doing all three versions with the different legs and then the shorts. So after today, I'm gonna have a lot of pants. I already bought the elastic so I can get that done. But yeah, first we're gonna cut out all the linings that I need and then get sewing. I think the pleats are first, or no, the pocket, whatever. We'll just get start sewing. <laughs> So I got all the lining pieces cut out, but the first thing we're gonna do is put the pleats in. Um, I already changed my needle and my footer, so I'm ready to go. So I just need to get the pattern back out and mark my places and sew the darts in. So let's get started. pleats are done I ironed them and then I basted the top you know you can't see it's not focusing but yeah I got the front pleats down so now we're just going to do the back pleats and then we can move on to doing the pocket but it's kind of hard I had to figure out which side was the front which side was the back because the fabric is just the same on the front and the back or like right side wrong side so I had to make sure I was doing it the right way but got that done so now we can move on to the back pleats and then go on to the pocket So next I'm doing the pocket bearer with the pocket lining. Got it cut out, I got my notches made. So I just have to sew those on like so for each side. So yeah, I'm going to sew those on and then it will make the larger piece with this being the piece that shows and this being the inside of the pocket. But yeah, we just gotta sew those together now. So I'm gonna sew these on and we're gonna make a pocket. So I finished sewing the pockets together. We got the pocket bearer on. There's 
top stitching along here to keep it but then we did a french seam at the bottom so you saw me when you like reach into the pocket you don't feel the raw edge or you don't see it on the outside too so that was a nice little detail added in so this is you know the way the pocket your hand will go in this way so yeah it's a nice clean bottom at the end i don't have to feel it when i put my hands in my pocket but we have the left and the right pocket done so now we can really start putting the pants pieces together and they're coming together pretty quickly so yeah, we're just going to attach it to the front end, I believe. Okay, so I have the pockets finally sewed on. Um, since I actually filmed last, I realized I sewed them wrong. Like, completely sewed the wrong pocket onto the wrong side. So I had to unstitch a bunch, and then I had to re-sew them. Then found out I was top stitching wrong and had to undo that and redo it but I'm finally at the correct spot so let me show you real quick <laughs> so now I have both pockets on correctly for right now to each side and I did the top stitching so now it's like connecting the waistband parts but I have to I have to say it's not the like pattern instructions fault it's just I read them wrong and also I can't tell the difference between the front and the back unless I actually really pay attention and so I basically had the fabric on the wrong side. So I figured once I actually do a pair that has distinct differences between the front and the back this will be a lot easier and I won't mess up as much. But they're coming along. They're like I feel like they're gonna look really nice once they're done which is nice obviously but I've been struggling but it's mostly just because the fabric it's hard to tell the front back and whatnot but yeah right now we're gonna sew the waistband of the pocket to the waistband of the pants on the wrong side <laughs> obviously so yeah we're gonna we're gonna keep going we finally hit a spot where we got everything in the right order and we can keep moving on man that last stitch really helped bring these pockets together because see this is the inside it's laying nice and neat it all lines up um and this is what it looks on the other side because here's the pocket you can see really starts to line up you got the pleat the pocket it's really come together so now i have to baste stitch this i believe see so i'm gonna baste it to the side and here yeah through all the layers uh since it's a base stitch it's not gonna it's gonna come out eventually that uh, now i know i have the pockets on correctly because it looks exactly like the pictures and they're laying out so nicely we're coming really close to um actually sewing these legs together so yeah it's going uh nicely now and it's a lot easier to tell what's going on <laughs> both the back pieces and the front pieces together and then I did the top stitching along the seam so they are really coming together next is just to add the back pockets and then doing the end seam and then I think just sewing them together I mean there's only two pages left so we're getting there. I would say overall these aren't actually that hard. It's just the whole like figuring out what side was correct or not. So I think once I get to those it's going to be a lot easier because I'll know which side is wrong which side's right. Um, so I'm going to say if you guys remember the fabrics I'm going to save the black shorts I had for glass because that's the same where I won't know which side is what. So they're coming along. I'm almost done with the first pair. back pockets are now attached hopefully they are evenly placed on there guess it's is it it is what it is now but now I'm going to attach the inseam to the front and the back and do the top stitching like I did for the middle seams okay so I got the inseam all done 
and now we can do the outside seams yeah coming together i think after that it's just the waistband and then him in the bottom and i'll have the first pair done shorts um i haven't put on the waistband yet but they're a little tight but you know i was able to get them on so i'm not gonna do the elastic like super tight but i mean i was able to get them on so that's good and yeah i just have to put in the elastic part and then hem it up and these will be done i'll have a nice pair of pants i got the pockets on the back pockets in the front so yeah Almost there. Okay, so I finished my shorts. I hemmed them. I put on the elastic. I'm not going to put them back on, but um, I think these are like the nicest pair of shorts slash pants I've ever made or will own. I can't wait to wear these when it gets warm again. Maybe I can try to stylish, try to style them uh, maybe with some tights and stuff and maybe a sweater. But yeah, I just did the hem. The elastic is in there. So yeah, I can put them on, but I'm not going to right now. So yeah, I, I even got the pockets on the back. So there are the finished product. Um, it's really good. I could get such a nice pair of shorts. This fabric I got, you know, on sale and it was only a yard and I squeezed out <laughs> these pants. And I'm really glad I did. So yeah, now I got a new pair of shorts and I can start working on the other pants and other pair of shorts. It will take me a while. Hopefully I won't mess up this time. I have figured out I'm not gonna put, I cut out pockets, like back pockets for all of them, but with putting them on uh, with some of the fabrics, I don't think it's gonna work out. So I'm going to start on the next pair, maybe do some and kind of get the next pair going. And then once I switch over to the black thread and do all the black pants and shorts, I can really get them just kind of zooming through because uh, I can do each step on each one. Um, th these did take a while, but that was because I messed up quite a few times on the pockets. So hopefully this will also be easier because I can tell the difference between the front side of the fabric and the back for basically all the rest of them besides the other pair of shorts. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I cannot wait to wear these shorts and finish making the pants and wear them. I will try to be posting the finished product of all of these on Instagram because I definitely will be wearing them and taking photos in them. So you can follow me there, maybe see the rest of them done. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.